I'm sorry, everybody, but Blackie's got a very busy schedule today. But wait, if you give us a call tomorrow, we'll set up personal interviews for each and every one of you. Yeah. But in the meantime, Blackie, Frisco, and the rest of the guys would really appreciate it if you'd go out there and talk up the video. Right. Now, we know the song's going to be number one. Let's get out there and make the video number one. Dude! Yeah. All, right. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, we'll see hey, you guys. Hang on a minute. What's the matter? Listen, Lou's over there. She wants to talk to you. I'm kind of crazy right now. What she want to talk about? She didn't say. She just said it's really important. All right, well, can you bring her over here? Yeah, just some of this newspaper clip. Lou. Lou, you're coming with me. Rose, no please, argument. Please, please. No. Listen to that. What? Peace and quiet. After the day you've had, I'll assume that's not a complaint. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love it. I mean, all those people, it's great, but I hope those guys didn't get mad down the dining room, all those girls running around and stuff today. Well, they did until they saw me starting to sign the check. It's funny how a little cash can change someone's attitude to cool. That Major D went from cold to cooperative without batting an eye. Oh, very nice. How much you have to pay him? Hmm, about twice what it, they would have made on lunch. Well, that's a lie. Sure, we can afford that kind of money. Sure, it's an investment. Considering the money that's been rolling in on a daily basis, I'd say it's a small investment. Approximately, how much has been rolling on a daily basis? Plenty. And in anticipation of your next question, yes, you'll be getting your second check shortly. Oh, all right, all right. Do I look concerned or something? Well, what do you know? He finally trusts me. When didn't I trust you? <laughs> in the beginning, all you could think about was complaining about your contract and money. You were so wrapped up in that, you even stopped writing. Well, it's all behind us now, huh? I think I'll get you some wine. I don't think I need any more wine. Oh, I think you do. Why is that? I mean, uh, to enhance this crazy feeling I'm having right now? I think what you're feeling is just a little bit of an overactive imagination. Oh, you do? Uh-huh. Ignore it. I don't want to ignore it. Are you happy? Yeah, I guess. Haven't I done everything that I promised to do? Yes, you have, and you've done a little more, too. And quit complaining. Because you've got everything a person could want and more. Do I have you? You've always had me, kid. Nice. <laughs> So what you reading? Mm -hmm. A Tale of Two Cities. Ah, Dickens. That's a great book. Yeah, it's terrific. It is a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. All you martyrs sound alike. Mm, yeah, I guess so. You better take your books out upstairs, study up there. It's getting kind of crowded in here. Yeah, I guess there's not room for the both of us, is there? Lou, listen, you can pout all night if you want, but part of my responsibility is to see that you go to school. Did it ever occur to you that there were more important things in life than school? Well, tell me what, and I'll apologize profusely. I can't. Well, when you can, let me know, and I'll try and be more sympathetic. Until then, you're going to school. And I mean on a daily basis. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to work. You like it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. What are you laughing for about? <laughs> Go away, we're busy. <laughs> ah. Here, we we'll get this off you. <laughs> I got by the card. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> what do you want? the same.
worth waking up for. This is great. I love this. <laughs> I really think we should have done another take. Okay, this is perfect, man. I love this part. What's this part? This is great. Oh, sure. This is beautiful. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, come on, Steph. You can't tell me you don't love it. Lucky for you, no, I can't. Oh, lucky for me, I can't. What other show is it going to be on? It's breaking nationally this week. Ah, oh, Stan, you got it on so fast. This is cool. It's because you're hot and everybody wants to see your video. Nah. This is incredible. Look at that. That's cool. Are you happy? I mean, I'm ecstatic. I can't believe it. If I woke up this morning and found this was a whole dream, I'd kill myself. Oh, it's no dream. It's true, all right. And you did it. Well, the band had a lot to do with it, too, you know. Don't you give me this false modesty routine. I know you better than that. Well, I did do it. Yep, you sure did. And it's just the beginning. Yeah, that's right. It's just the beginning. No stopping me, right? Of course. Is that champagne or something? I don't know. It's Frisco. Frisk! Come on in, buddy. Thanks. What the hell are you doing here? Well, I thought you might be interested in seeing this. Get out. You proud of you? What are you getting so upset about? That guy's driving me crazy. Huh, starting to get to drive you crazy. Every time I turn around, the guy is staring at me. How would you like it? Me? I love it. Oh, very funny. This is not funny right now, Steffi. So what? So some guy comes up here with a magazine that says, make me believe it's going to be a smash. So? He's making me nervous. Don't you understand that? Well, then don't pay any attention to him. How am I supposed to? Did you see him? He's got this, got this weird look on his face. That guy's strange. Forget him. Steffi, he's up to something, okay? What does he want with me? Maybe he's just happy for you. No, he's not happy for me. He's up to something. Will you stop acting paranoid? He's, he's out to get me. That's, that's what he's going to do. He's going to get me. Well, if that's what he's trying to do, he's doing a great job because every time you see him, you freak out. Well, what do you expect? What if he says something to someone? Well, like, you know, nobody's going to believe that some half-wit bellhop wrote your song. You said you got rid of him. What happened? You said you took care of him. I did. Then why is he still hanging around? Well, he's obviously obsessed. Obsessed? Well, well what do you mean by obsessed? I mean that he's obsessed with you, with fame. He wants what you've got. Yeah, well, let him get it on his own. People like Josh can't do that. That's why they get fixated on people like you. Yeah, that's real great. I need some nut hanging around me. That's real great, Steffi. Blackie, listen, it's not like that. See, people like that, they're, they're always drawn to people that have some kind of a success. There, there ought to be a law against guys like that, you know that? Well, there isn't, so you better get used to it. That guy gives me the creeps. Well, they can't do anything about your song. Oh, well, yeah, I wish I believed that. I wish you did, too. Because this is getting boring. Oh, you're not the one with his tail on the line. I have a vested interest here, too. Oh, yeah, you'd hate to lose your meal ticket, wouldn't you? I don't see you squawking about your fame or your money. Steffi, don't you understand? I'm under pressure right now, okay? Then stop creating it. Cre what are you talking about? Cre that guy's following me no, around. No, I ain't created nothing. You are making too much out of this, okay? And I don't appreciate your taking it out on me. I care about you. I'm sorry. I, I'm okay. sorry. I... There's nothing to worry about. Trust me. What do you say we get out of the hotel for a while and get away from there? We can't. You have work to do. I'll write tomorrow. I'm not talking about writing. I'm talking about interviews. Well, that's not until this afternoon. No, no, that's teen time. See, I've set up some interviews with some fan magazines for this morning. Well, why don't you cancel them? Because I can't. Damn it, Stippy. Now what's the matter? Well, the same problem. What if that guy shows up and says something to a reporter or something? Ignore him. Nobody's going to believe him. Yeah, but what if they do? So what if they do? Josh can't prove anything. It's your song. Now, you keep telling yourself that. This is your song. I start drumming. Wait, 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 wait
question at a time, please. You. How does it feel to be able to cause a scene like this? Oh, it feels, it feels great, I guess, you know. <laughs> Where, where do you go from here? I go back to my hotel room, and the rest is none of your business, that's for sure. Do you sleep in the nude? All depends where I'm sleeping. He has a t-shirt that says, I love Blackie. I got pictures of him in it. It's, it's great. I'll have a party, party, party. Any special words for your fans? Just that I love them all. I really do. Then why don't you turn around and give them a big smile, huh? All right. Get all right. Okay. Hey! hey. <laughs> Tell us uh, something about your latest song. Hello? Tell so, anything about your latest song. No, I... Uh, Mr. Paris? What? The Paris telephone? Who is it? I sent it for the TV station. Regarding an interview this afternoon? Tell him we'll call him back. No, 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 no. I, I, I get it. You can use the phone at the reception desk. Thanks. I know about it. I know about it. Teen, yeah. Jenny Blake, that's right. I know. I, I know about it. Okay, I have to go now. Thank you. I know. Goodbye. Step over here so you don't get trampled. They are all nuts. Well, they're not purse snatchers, believe me. But what? You got a death grip on your back. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I guess I just don't want to lose it. That's all. Oh, what are you doing here? Just hanging out. Still trying to see black. Look, if you're gonna ball me out. I'm... No, hey, no, no. I understand. I'm trying to see him too. I thought you said you wanted me to stay away from him. I, I did. It's just that... What? Uh, nothing, really. Blackie's your friend, right? Yeah. How come you can't get in your game? Good question. <laughs> Something wrong? No, it, it's just that I really need to talk to him alone. That's all. Go on in and call him. Well, I've tried, and someone else always picks up on the phone, and then he says he'll call back, and he never does. Yeah, sounds like we're in the same boat. Want to go have some coffee? Here? Yeah, sure, why not? Better than standing here getting shoved. Well, I sort of wanted to stay and see if I could get to Blackie. Well, we're not going to get through the security cards. But we cannot block the door right now. We back up through. Yeah, I'd have to get it. Thank you. He'll be down here in a while. And we'll both see him. I don't know. Come on, I don't buy it. Next time. Too bad. Might help us get, might help us get through the mob. <laughs> so what do you say? Sure, Josh. Why not? <laughs> Excuse me. We're, we're having coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't have any gold in there? What? I think you do. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I'm just very scared I'm going to lose it, that's all. But, but why don't you just put it here, and I promise, if anybody tries to grab it, throw my body over it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess so. There. That's better. You seem kind of uptight. Me? Uh, no, no, I'm fine, really. Yeah, don't worry, you'll get to see him. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Something wrong? No, no, I, I just really want to talk to him, that's all. Yeah, I didn't mean to butt in. No, no, hey, it's, it's okay. It, it's just that I really can't talk about it. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Hmm. I make you nervous, don't I? Why do you say that? You think I'm weird? No, no, I don't. Not anymore. Oh, yeah? Why'd you change your mind? Did you ever get to see Blackie? Yeah, we talked. All the good it did me. 
He still says you didn't write that song. Right. So I don't have any proof. And uh, the nice guy. But Josh, what would you do if you had proof? I just want half credit and half the money. That's it. Sure, I'm not out to get anybody. I, I just want my fair share. Yeah, I guess that's what anybody wants. You understand? I think so. <sighs> sure nice to have somebody on my side. Oh, I, I, I didn't say that. I... Well, no, it's just, you know, we're talking and, and you care and... I like that. You're really nice. Thanks. <sighs> He's crazy. Who? Blackie, how can he dump somebody like you for Steffi? She's the worst. Yeah, well, if that's what he wants, he can have her. I still think it's rotten. I had a girl like you, and I sure know how to take care of her. He's a fool. Give me another shot, better back on. It's no good, and Harry's coming in. Well, they're coming in now. Thank you, guys. Nice to see you. Blackie, look, I know it's a local show, but I really want you to be up for it. If you do a good job, we'll see about getting it distributed to other Two minutes, that's all. I'm giving you two minutes, all right? Two minutes is all that Jenny Blake's got on the air, so please make something out of it. Hey, somebody actually wants me. Don't worry, man, I won't take the show from you. It's over, Steffi, let's go. Okay. Uh, hi, Blackie, hey, Blackie, yeah. I have to talk matter? to you. Cancel this. I want to cancel this. Listen, I'm Judy Blackie. Blake from Teen Time. How are you? Blackie. Yeah. Hi, excuse me. I'm Steffi Brand, Blackie. Nice to meet you. Blackie. Listen, young lady, Blackie. Please. Blackie. Yeah, Blackie. Don't mind me. I'm I know no you stole that okay. song. I can prove it. Hey, what are you doing, man? Let go of her. Get her out of here. Hey, that's your friend, man. What's with you? Let's go. Come on. Yeah, sure. Uh, whatever you say. Let's do it. Uh, roll tape. Okay. Okay, hi, this is Ginny Blake uh, reporting live from the Port Charles Hotel and talking to one of rock and roll's newest singing sensations, Blackie Paris from our own Port Charles. Blackie, what do you have to say about all this? Okay, yeah. Blackie, Blackie. 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 Buy me a couple minutes of privacy, all right? Are you serious? Uh, hurry, I gotta talk to Lou. Well, go ahead. We'll hold it back as long as we can. Yeah, with what? Well, why don't you get out front and turn out some personal magnetism? Draw them to you. Half these girls don't even know I'm in the band. Well, remind them. Start singing or do something. Uh, girls, this has been a lot of fun. What the hell's going on? Great, just great. Just what I need. What's going on? None of your damn business. Get your hands off her. Beat it, punk. Blackie, please. Let her go. You get out of here. I'm calling for tough security. You better let her go first. Josh, no. What are you, the Calvary or something? Blackie, I really, Josh, I'm fine. Please go. Are you sure? You heard her. Now go. Lou? Yes, I'm fine. She's fine. You heard her. Now go. Listen to Blackie, please. You're okay. I just need to talk to him alone. Are you sure? What are you, deaf or something? You're deaf, man. And how many times do I have to tell you? All I want is to get my share. My get up share! Both of you, just stop it, please, Josh. I need to be alone with him. I'm fine. Just go. Just go before I knock that silly little smirk off your face, huh? Go! Blackie, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. No, you listen to me. What the hell are you talking about? I stole the song. What are you trying to do? Ruin me or something? No, you don't know what you're talking about. I do. You don't, man. You've been talking to that bellboy idiot too much. Josh. Yes, Josh. I see you talking to him all the time. He's, he's telling you that I stole that song, right? Well, well it's a lie, okay? It's true, Blackie. You did. No, I... You believe him instead of me, Blackie? I know what happened. I know what happened, too. That, that guy's a thief, man. He's stealing from me. This happens to famous people all the time. He's just trying to cash in on That's my success. That's not the way it was. Not this time. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that you stole that song from Josh. Like, I don't know. It could have been an accident. Maybe you did it unconsciously or something. But you have to admit it. There's nothing to admit, Lou. That's not fair to Josh. This isn't like you. Let me help you, please, Maggie. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. Who else? would I be on? But you've got to promise me something that you stay away from Steffi. She's poison to you, Blackie. She's poison. She's the one who made you like this. What? Successful, huh? You've changed. Oh, Blackie. 
like he wouldn't turn his, his back on friends anymore. Friends, my friends wouldn't talk trash about me, huh? Like you're doing right now. I swear I haven't told anybody. Yeah, because no one will believe you. Stop crying. Blackie. Blackie. You want to help? You don't want to. You got to get out of here. Get out of my life, all right? Come on, man. Get out of here. Look, I can see you're pretty bent out of shape. What happened? Uh, nothing, really. Lou, tell me. Uh, it's really just between Blackie and me, okay? It was about me, wasn't it? Josh, just don't ask any questions. Why don't you tell me what's going on? I need to talk to Blackie first. You just did. I know, but it wasn't for too long, and I still need to talk to him. I gotta straighten things out, and... He's upstairs. I'll probably never see him again. Yeah, where is he? Oh, they went up to Frisco's room, I think. Well, it's not any good. Uh, he's got to come back to his room sometime. So? So, uh, why do you wait up there for him? How can I do that? I used to work in this hotel, remember? I know where the master key is. Can you get a hold of one? Yeah, if you help me. What do you want me to do? Distract the desk clerk. How? It's your problem. I'll do the rest. Okay. <clears throat> if you're about to ask me what room Blackie Parrish is in, you can save your breath. I'm not giving that information out to anyone. I don't blame you. This place is a madhouse. My mother sent me down to complain. Oh, then you're not one of those groupies? How dare you? Oh, well, I'm sorry, miss. I didn't mean to apply. I thought that... this was a family hotel. Well, this is the last time we stay in this place. I was shocked. I mean, I have never seen girls behave like that before, ever. Yeah, right. Not since yesterday or the day before. No, this is serious business. I mean, they almost ate our boy alive over there. I didn't see him complaining. Yeah, he was just being polite. You know, I knew Blackie was going to be big, but I never knew he'd get that kind of a reception. Oh, you knew it. You knew it all the time. Didn't you? Didn't you, kid? Hmm? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you uh, promise to introduce me to some of your more enthusiastic fans? Like, mainly the, uh, the young, single ones, cute. <laughs> what, other, what other kind has he got? Uh, yeah, any time. <laughs> Man, you sure called this shot. Which one was that? The one that said you'd be rich and famous and have every girl around chasing after you, falling all over themselves to get to you. Yeah. That's what you always wanted, right, man? A mob of hysterical women trying to get to you. You and only you, man. Right. Hey, listen, you don't have to sound so thrilled about it, huh? And what have you always wanted? Oh. One woman's enough for me. Oh, yeah? Anyone in particular? No. Any one of Blackie's discards will be fine. Listen, you guys, um, I want to go to my room and uh, get some sleep before dinner, okay? That's a real good idea. But the first thing I want to do is go over tomorrow's itinerary with you guys. Mm. The first thing is, at 9 o'clock, we're going to meet in the lobby, and we have a press conference and a magazine interview. Nothing to it. Thanks. Let's go in. Uh, no. I thought you wanted to go into Blackie's room. Um, I, I do, but, uh, alone. Hey, what if you need some backup? I mean, you, you might need me there to help you. No, this no? is just between Blackie and me. Yeah, sure. Can I see you later? Um, I'll meet you downstairs after I talk to him, okay? Sure. Good luck, kid. I hope you get what you're after. Thanks. Yeah. All right, well, I'll remind you again in the morning. In the meantime, I'm going to go to my room and change. Why don't you try and get some rest, and I'll come and pick you up in a little bit, all right? All right. to see you. How'd you get in here? Josh let me in. Josh let you in how? 
He stole the passkey from the clerk when he wasn't looking. That does it. What are you doing? I'm sick of that punk, all right? I'm take care of more Blackie, girl. I asked Josh to help me. I had to see you. Lou, what do you want? You know. I know nothing. If you're going to start throwing these false accusations, you can get out of my room you now, all right? You stole. Make me believe it from Josh. Will you stop it? I know you did. You're way out of line here, no, little girl. No, you are, Blackie. I don't want to hurt you, but I can't let you get away with this. You don't want to hurt me? L listen to what you're saying. You don't want to hurt... You couldn't hurt me if you tried, all right? Because I'm a star. I'm a big star, and you got no power, all right? Even if I wasn't a star. You haven't got a shred of proof. Oh, yes, I do. What? I've got it right here. You guess or something? You ought to know. Will you stop playing these games? What's that supposed to be? All the proof that anybody would need to know who really wrote Make Me Believe It. I wrote Make Me Believe It, all right? Not according to this tape. Well, then it's a lie! No. Yeah, where did you get it? I found it in Frisco's room when I was cleaning it up. It's probably his idea of a joke or something. It's not funny. All right, Lou, what is on it? It's Josh playing a song. He even sings the lyrics. Big deal. That's what you're complaining about? This whole thing is because of that? I've heard plenty of his songs, all right? Does that make me a thief or something? The song he plays, Blackie, is Make Me Believe It. I don't believe you. Note to note, word to word. Well, it's a mistake then. Yeah, and you made it. It's probably just me singing that song on it because I, I, I tape, you know, stuff that I play once in Blackie, a while. Blackie, you were there, but you were taking notes and not performing. Josh was singing the song. The voices couldn't have been clearer, and the song he was singing was Make Me Believe It. That's ridiculous, Lou. If I was going to steal a song, why would I tape it? You know, it's that stupid. I... There's no point in denying it any longer. The question is now, what are you going to do about it? I don't listen to a mystery tape of yours. You're not going to like it, Blackie. my best song. Hey, uh, it's real good, Josh. Why don't you finish up here? Because I got work to do and I'm having problems concentrating. Oh, right? Hold on, man. The ending's coming up. You'll love it. <laughs> you sick. When did you come in? Just in the nick of time, apparently. What the hell is that about? Will you just calm down, please? Now, start at the beginning, slow and simple. I want to get this straight. All right, okay. Like I said, it was an accident. I wasn't stooping around. I was cleaning up Frisco's room, and I found the tape by accident. And you accidentally put it in the tape recorder, and you accidentally played it. I just right? thought it was some songs or something. I just wanted to listen to them. Oh, it was a song, all right. It was evidently the Bell Boys. How could you be such a fool as to, as to tape that? I guess I didn't know tape player was on. Great. Just great. Well, luckily for us, you're the one who found the tape. I mean, imagine if it had gotten into the hands of someone who wasn't as sympathetic as you are. What do you mean? Well, you're certainly not going to do anything with the tape, right? I mean, you're Blackie's friend, right? Yeah, she's my friend. I used to be. Oh, no, you still are, Lou. I don't know anymore. Oh, Lou, listen, um... If we had anything in the beginning, you know, and if you really love me, Lou, you, you give me the tape. I can't do that. Are you trying to ruin me? You've already ruined yourself. You now have no right to judge me. Blackie, can't you see? It's just not fair. Listen, little girl, don't talk to me like that. Listen, Lou has, Lou is right. What? Blackie has changed. What are you talking about? But it's not his fault. He's been under a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, from you. Okay, maybe I am partly to blame. It's very difficult having stardom suddenly thrust upon you. It takes a lot of adjustment, and many performers can't make that. Blackie may have stole that song, but you're the real crook, Steffi. You treat people like they're toys. Look what you've done to him! Look, I have tried to reason with you. Now, I want that tape. No! Don't kill me. You've already killed yourself. Can't you see that? And she has done it! Listen, I have had about enough out of you. No. Listen, I'm not playing games with you. What are you going to do with that tape? I... 
I don't know. She's not going to do anything with that tape because she's going to give it to me now. No! I'm through playing games with you, kid. Now give me that tape. No. No! Oh, God. I didn't mean to push her. No. It's not my fault. Oh, it's my fault. I just stole that song. This wouldn't happen. Is she dead? No. No. Good. Go, go get some help. Help? Where? Just go do something. I, I, I'll, I'll get Frisco. Honey, I, I swear. Ooh. Is he hurt? No, no, but that, that girl is. Girl, what girl? She she hit her head. She she wouldn't give up the tape, Frisco. She she fell. She's not moving. Blackie? Frisco. Do something. Help her. Now help her. I'll get an end. Front desk, this is room 1038. We need an ambulance up here right away. Yes, this is an emergency, and get the police too. Please, hurry. 